right, and we're live. We're here at Pace Studios with Ron Gallo. Hello, hello, hello. Ron, thanks so much for being here. Congratulations for on the new album. Thank uh, you. Heavy Meta comes out a week from tomorrow, from right? Tomorrow. February 3rd. Yeah, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah, so there's three songs off of Heavy Meta that you prepared for us today. Can you tell us a bit about the first one? Yeah, yeah uh, uh, Young Lady, You're Scaring, scaring me, me is uh, the name of the first song. Um, slightly, slightly embellished, but mostly, mostly true tale, tale about a uh, stalkerish type. type. Young lady, you're scaring me. I'd love to hear it.
Thank you. All right. Ron, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so you got, you've got three prepared for us today. And next yeah, up, yeah, you're yeah. playing uh, Kill the Medicine Man, yes. right? Yeah. And what is that one all about? Kill the Medicine Man. Um, kind of covers my personal ideology of the last few years of sort of, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain Let work. the song speak for itself. I want to hear it. What's that? I'd love to hear it. You just, just want to hear it. it? Yeah, I mean, it can just speak for itself if there's not uh, well, again, words I mean, to say it's, about um, it. It's about my personal ideology surrounding sort of uh, substances, whether it be alcohol or medication, sort of this... Um, I don't know. It's an encouragement to, sign, to kind of refrain from it in a way, and sort of, at least for me personally, what that has brought into my life of just kind of, I don't know. We're entering a new era. Uh, I say enter it with a, with a clear head, stay sharp. Um, we made a video for this song recently um, where we're promoting a new product called Arowana, uh, which is a drug alternative. Um, and you can watch it on YouTube right now, and it's, it's, you can find out more information about it. Um, the kind of... Humor, I, it's, in it's in good, good humor, humor, but, but, but uh, sort of gets away, that gets across the, the context of the song. Um, <laughs> Kill the Medicine Man. It's been a long day, I can't speak. We're also surrounded by a lot of really amazing quarter-inch tapes. <laughs>
cues. Definitely a first for uh, for this place. We've never seen the candle used as slides. So uh, really? yeah, that's actually not one time no, before just now. Uh, so, Ron, you've got a third one off of Heavy Meta coming up yes. right now, which is, uh, what are you guys about to play next? All the, All punks, the punks are domesticated. Are domesticated. Um, before, before I moved from Philly to Nashville, Nashville I had a job, job cleaning houses, houses. And, and I was, I was cleaning, cleaning houses, houses with a couple punk rock, rock kids. kids. And um, we, we, we would just we would clean houses and we would talk for hours. And, and a lot of the time they would talk about like their student loans and like how they got a new place, their significant other. Um, buying a new car, just, it, it was just funny to hear these like hardcore punk rock kids talking about like all of these elements of their domesticated life. And so that's where the title came from. And then I went home and that in combination with sort of my feelings about the current state of music and culture and social things in combination with that. And then the song just kind of came out and it's called All the Punks Are Domesticated.
Thank you. All right. Thank you. That was great. Um, you're getting plenty of response here. Joey Sweeney is says, sending oh, you love oh, from Joey Philly. Sweeney. <laughs> Cousin yeah. Joey. Yeah. Big cuz. Hey. Uh, Carlo can't wait to see you guys in Sweden. So uh, just a ton of comments pouring in here and people uh, looking Amazing. forward to the tour. So I know you've got a New York show coming up at Baby's All Right on February 23rd, we said, right? Yes, yes. February 23rd, Baby's uh, All Right. What about the rest of us? So you're, you're just out getting the word out about the album right now, but you're hitting the road yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, yeah tomorrow, tomorrow we are doing uh, the Free Noon XPN at uh, World Cafe Live in Philly tomorrow morning. Um, and then we head back down to Nashville. The record comes out next Friday. We're going to do uh, an in-store down there and then a release show. And then our tour starts February 19th in Louisville, goes up to Chicago, Pittsburgh, then over to New York. We'll hit Philly. Um, and then back down, and then we'll be down South by Southwest in March. April 14th, we start, 15th, we start a tour with Ray for the Riff Raff in Vermont that takes us all the way down to New Orleans for it's two and a half weeks. And then uh, we'll be at Shaky Knees and Governor's Ball. Nice. And I think we're going over to the Netherlands in May. Uh, Amsterdam. How about Kate wants to know about Florida. You got any Florida, Florida, Florida tour dates? Oh, we don't do Florida. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. I'm just, I'm just kidding. kidding. No, no eventually, but nothing, nothing uh, is, is currently kind of plan. Well, we'll catch up with you guys go. at uh, South by Southwest. So we'll see yeah. you in just a couple months. And um, all right. Well, enjoy the tour up until then. We'll see you soon and come visit us anytime. All right. All right. Thank, thank you very much. much. Right. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, everyone that listens.